All right, guys, how's it going? Today, we're gonna to be talking about persistence and being persistent. And uh, that's what today's Monday motivation is gonna be all about, just talking about that. Now, as you guys can see, my hands are full as always. I like to film these fucking things uh, every time I'm out here with my hands full. Seems like to be a running theme. It's not a, it's actually more my accident than a, than a, than an actual thing. But anyways, I hope I have enough battery to record. I'm hoping to God I do, I think I do. I guess we'll find out together. So, got my hands full of stuff. I was able to get some shoes. Now I got those shoes uh, through a lot of fucking persistence. I'm sure you guys are curious. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I'm sure you guys are real curious about how I got these fucking shoes. But I literally spent... Man, I'm getting everyone's fucking looking at me right now. Shit. And I mean, I'm used to fucking people staring me down, but holy crap, man. Got like 10,000 people staring at me. But again, let's get back to that persistent stuff. If you're persistent and you just don't give a fuck like I do, no one's going to fucking get in your way. Nothing's going to get in your way. No matter what. Um, which is, by the way, again, it's again all about persistence. When you find something you love, or something you truly, truly enjoy doing all the fucking time, um, the whole persistence thing is actually pretty easy. It's not that hard. Because you guys all know that. Um, there's always one of you guys. There's always, you, either you are one of these people or you know one of these people. The ones that once they kind of like discover something new. All right, try, ah, try not to get run over. <laughs> I forgot it's rush hour. Everybody's in a fucking hurry right now. All right, hold on, hold on. By the way, here, let me show you my new shoes. Look at these. They're fucking horrible. Ugly shoes. But you know what? They're shoes. <laughs> and uh, I got big fucking feet, so I can't really be fucking too choosy out here today. Um, been looking for shoes for God knows how long already. Feel like it feels like it's been months. It actually, it has been months. And I finally found some shoes that fit. And uh, we're going to go with that. But again, it's all about persistence. It took me not only a very long time, but to even today. It took me hours, hours just to get these shoes. So, it is what it is. Now, as to like uh, what I was saying before, we know plenty of people that, you know, for example, let's just talk about the crypto world. You know, you remember just a couple years ago, at the end of 2019, that, you know, there was always, uh, you know, those individuals out there that were all about crypto. They just discovered crypto. I'm going to drive all my friends crazy with crypto. And the same thing can go with anything else. That's part of that persistence stuff. Um, if you really, really, really love what you do, if you really have uh, your heart set that what you're doing is the right thing, then uh, persistence will actually come pretty easy to you because you're already obsessed with whatever it is that you're talking about or you're you're doing and so letting others know about these things is actually uh pretty easy it's uh one goes with the other type of thing by the way i'm just having a little bit of extra difficulty today because i've already done three of these freaking videos i've walked up and down so many freaking miles again all about the persistence right and uh, just to get shit done man because uh I hate I hate wasting uh, anything, wasting time, wasting whatever. So, you know, I spent the good majority of the day running around trying to get shit done. Hope I didn't. Hold on a second, guys. All right, all right. So, yeah, sorry. I only I got one hand. There's like a lot of stuff I'm carrying, and it's kind of bulky. And again, I'm tired. I'm already, I'm already tired, and my feet are tired. Even more so right now than usual because I got new shoes on. And they're getting adjusted and you already know that whole deal i've been needing shoes for a long time but anyways all right hold on a second so i mean for reals guys it's all about persistence you know um that's today's monday motivation it's just being persistent and it can come in many forms many forms if you really want something you just got to keep going at it over and over and over again until you get it you know that's where like that whole failure thing comes in um 
if you really, really love something or want to want something really bad in your life, you know, all these failures that take place as you're trying to achieve what you're trying to achieve, as you're trying to get to that goal, as you're trying to conquer whatever you're trying to conquer, as you're trying to grab whatever you're trying to grab, it, they, don't, they don't mean nothing. You know, if anything, you learn from each one of these failures, from each one of these uh, situations, because they are all part of that journey. Again, you know, if you already know what you want and where you're trying to go and trying to get and all that shit, you know, that persistence stuff comes pretty easy. Um, when it comes to, you know, the whole persistence thing and obsession and things like that, where people have difficulty with that is because it's hard to be persistent or it's really difficult, you know, to be obsessed with something when you don't love it, when you don't want to do it, you know, it's things like that. Again, for me, it's actually pretty fucking easy to do all this shit because I'm beyond obsessed. I'm beyond um, persistent. I'm beyond, uh, you know, uh, all that stuff, you know, overwhelming, you name it. So to me, it's, uh, again, very natural for me to become very obsessed with not just this, but many things. Um, I have a, an addictive personality and uh, it's not everybody has one out there, but some people have an addictive personality. And again, it's either you can turn that addictive personality on its head and use it to your advantage to kick ass and take names. Or you can use that addictive personality to, you know, just become a fucking drug addict or become an addict to, to video games or become an addict to porn or become an addict to fucking anything else that's negative and not, not good. So why not become obsessed? Why not become uh, addicted to something that's actually going to be very good and very positive, not just in your life, but probably in the lives of your loved ones and everyone else. So... It's really all about that persistence, guys. Now, when it comes to being persistent, um, it sure does rub, rub people the wrong way a lot of the times. Because a lot of fucking people, not only do they not want to hear it the first time you fucking tell them, they don't want to hear it the second or the third or the fourth or the fifth or the sixth. But that's not, that's not really your problem. That's their problem. They don't want to hear it. They can remove themselves. You just got to keep going, like, again, very blindly and just know that what you're doing is the right thing. And uh, just, just because there's a, a group of individuals or there's a lot of people, you know, maybe it's like everyone in your circle or family and none of them want to hear this shit, well, it's totally fine. You go and you eventually figure that out. All right, hold on, hold on. You go and eventually figure that shit out and then you um, eventually find the right people, the right group, the right individuals out there that are going to fit into your into your thing by the way lots of lots of challenges today so today has been a very challenging day and again just challenging in the fact that it's been very exhausting and just challenging on many levels but and nothing nothing that I, I mean I couldn't fucking handle in the fact it's been a really great day I did a lot of shit when I come when it comes down to it um, when it's, you know, when I'm ass assessing what I've done today already, I'm like, damn, I've done a lot. Um, and it's all because I've been persistently trying to accomplish something. Meaning that I had a lot of downtime today in many, in many instances, but I chose to go out there and knock some shit out. And, uh, again, that's all about that persistence. If um, all of a sudden you, like what I do is like I have so many things going on at the same time is that I'm always making lists and organizing myself. So that way when there are moments of time like this where I have a lot of free time. And again, it's not that I have a lot of free time. I don't have free time. I very rarely have free time, but I'm just saying free time in comparison that I don't have any projects due immediately. I don't have any clients that are pending or anything like that. So I got free time to now do certain other things that I want to do or need to do, need to do more than anything else. And so that's, that's what I do. So a lot of times when we have this free time, most of us kind of fall into the comfort of watching Game of Thrones or watching, uh, you know, uh, some bullshit on TV, like a sports or whatever, being obsessed with that, the wrong thing instead of the right thing. And, uh, and it's because when you have that free time, you don't have like this ready list or this ready, um, 
yeah list or you know uh, ready uh you know ideas or whatever it is you know what i mean like you just have all these things ready so that when you have lulls in time that you can just go and attack those things and start working on those things and i do you know that's why i'm always trying to figure something out because like a lot of times it's like um like today i have my list and i just go down the list and i just and i just do what i want to do i have i have to accomplish all those fucking things it doesn't really matter what order i do them but i just gotta fucking do them and there's no excuse of like oh i gotta get everything in order i gotta organize everything i gotta work no because all that shit's already done and all i gotta do is just pick something from the fucking list and knock it the fuck out and just do it and that's it it's really not like uh again not rocket science you notice i say rocket science all the fucking time um but yeah man and and that's it you know what i mean if you got your priority straight and it's all about working and then got knocking it out and getting it done and all this other shit and uh again to some people it comes easier than others for me you know a lot of this stuff is pretty easy because just my background as a fucking chef has allowed me to have all these major organizational skills this incredible work ethic this obsession this um oh, so many so many things so many skills so many leadership skills qualities um self-starter so many so many things that are you know just uh used now in a completely different light in order to do what i'm doing right now i mean for reals oh man i am tired today Woo. i'm gonna earn those fucking tacos tonight that's for sure all right and I still got a lot of work to do but as a matter of fact since i was able to do so much today non-stop now one of the things that I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to you know put all this shit away and take a little bit of a little bit of a break. I got to take a shower, uh, roll a few blunts, relax, and I got to organize a bunch of files and things that I got to do because um, I have a project that I've been working on for a very long time that I want to fucking knock out already, but I just haven't been able to because it's uh, it's a very big project that requires a lot of work and a lot of uh you know just a uh, head space head time so it's, it's kind of hard to to wrap your head around something like that so i've uh, been doing a bunch of other small things and now that i have a lot more free time type type you know meaning i have like several hours that i can dedicate to this project i'm gonna see if i can jump on that shit again it's a big big project i can't wait to show with i can't wait to share you guys and show you guys but it's basically Oh, look, these are inspectors. I've never seen inspectors here before. Cool. Yeah, and it's funny. Everything works so different out here when it comes to that shit, too. People just build and do whatever the fuck they want. And, you know, the whole inspector thing is... It's just not the same as it is back home. You can tell here. You know? I can, you just by the way they were saying right now. <laughs> Very interesting. Hold on. So, again, just coming back to the whole persistence stuff. Um, you got to be persistently on top of your fucking game. You got to be persistent, you know, um, with everything that you do. You can't just fucking do something and let it go and then hope whew, and then hope that um, things are just going to magically fix themselves or, you know, put themselves in front of your face. No, you got to you got to be persistent in everything and everything. So, again, it's always why. You gotta find something you love. Ah, all right, here we go. You gotta find something you love just to make it easier for you to be persistent in these things. But again, it just comes to anything, even things that you don't like or hate. You gotta be persistent, and you're going after of these things, and that's it. I mean, for reals. You know, persistence can be you know um, worded in many different ways, but. You know, at the end of the day, it's just a rinse and repeat. Rinse and repeat. It's all about repetition. It's all about practice. Am I going to be able to go or what? Maybe not. I mean, yeah. It's a bunch of cars and buses and shit. Come on, man. Come on. 
Oh, here, you guys can take a look at that. Yeah, so like the traffic pattern isn't exactly the best there. And uh, again, the drivers have the right of way here, not, not, the, not the people's. So we're just gonna wait here. Yeah, I wish I had a fast car like that old lady. All right, here we go, here we go. I saw the guy hailing, hailing the, the bus. It's time to go. But yeah, it's rush hour right now. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but see, everyone's persistently trying to get fucking home. Eh, that doesn't make any sense. But anyways, it's all about persistence, really. I mean, and, and, and a lot of people just, it's as simple as practice. Practice, practice, practice. It could be whatever it is, but like right now, I'm practicing. I'm practicing. I'm, I'm kind of working out. I'm putting myself in a very difficult position. Um, I'm going up against the clock here because I don't know when this thing's about to run out of battery. Um, I'm testing myself. I've made already like three. Actually, I made four videos today because I made an actually standalone video as well. So I've done three of these in, with a GoPro and I made one standalone. So I've actually made four videos today. And that's, actually, that's what I'm going to do today because I forgot I made so much content today on so many different subjects. Because again, I just took advantage of the fact that I was fucking running on all cylinders here. So I was like, fuck it. Let me see how much I can knock out. And that's what I did. So actually, that's what I'm going to do tonight. Uh, I'm not going to be working on that project. I'm going to just be working on making all of these videos. So that way I have Wednesday, Thursday, basically full and available so that I can uh, start working on all this shit. Look, how am I going to get through this, man? What the fuck? Good thing I'm a big... Uh, uh. I got it. I made it. I feel like that spot keeps getting tighter and tighter and tighter every time I walk in through there. That's what he said. Oh, shit. All right. So, I, I definitely got to get me one of these cars soon. I don't know when, but I got to get me one. That's the car I want out here, all right? I'm going to be living out here. I'm part of being out here, so I got to simulate correctly. Oh, shit, here we go. Ah! <laughs> So persistence guys, persistence is key. I want one of those punch buggies. I'm gonna get one of those fucking punch buggies. All right, I wanted to cross that street. I ran across that street. I just do a little DJ Cali. They, they say that you can't do it. You gotta have that major key, major key alert. Don't listen to they. They are always telling you you can't do it. But you gotta tell they that you are gonna do it. And you're gonna show up and not only are you gonna do it, you're gonna do it better than anyone else ever thought you were gonna do it. Cause you're the best. All right, I think this is enough. I think, I think I've gone pretty long. Again, I feel like I'm running on fumes here. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for everything. Funny, <laughs> this thing died literally as I was finishing the video, but it's okay, it gives me a chance to do the word of the day. So actually today's word of the day is trabajo, which means work. So today's word of the day is work, trabajo. So, um, Jose hizo mucho trabajo hoy. Jose did a lot of work today. All right, so work equals trabajo, all right, trabajo. That's today's word of the day. All right, so now I'm going to end it. Thanks again for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share. Please, 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 please stay awesome. Please live your life. Please enjoy every minute of your life. Don't just watch these videos. Put this shit into action. And uh, it's not running out of battery. It's actually just overheating. So I'm also overheating. So with that being said, love you guys. Peace out. Have a great one. And I'll see you guys mañana. Peace. You can live on six hours of sleep. So you have 18 hours. You have 18 goddamn hours. I want to know what you're doing with your 18 hours. Because you can work your nine to five and that's nine. And you can travel for an hour here and there. Respect. Nice little solid commute. Oh, you want to be a family man? Mazel tov. You can spend two hours with your kids. What do you do with those other five hours? You're watching House of Fucking Hearts. You're playing Madden. You're relaxing from the other intense 10. Gary, I already spent 11 hours. Well, great. Then don't complain or want more. Respect that by getting rest and this and that, you were giving up opportunity to go into a new world. You want the audacity to have a 1% life. Let's, let's call it what it is. You want to live as well as the 1% to 2% in the world. It's not very complicated. The math is very wrong. 
Like, you, if you want to have one of the best lives in the world, which is you live on your terms, you have to pay your dues to get there. And you have to be lucky enough to figure out that you had talent in the thing that you actually want to do. Because you can work 24 hours a day, and if you stink at golf, or you're not a good content producer, or your logos look like the shit I would make, then you're gonna lose. So that's what you gotta do. Coca-Cola. No Coca-Cola for me. Coca-Cola. No Coca-Cola for me. Coca-Cola. No Coca-Cola for me. 